Hi, this tutorial is for week one assignment four. We're going to be combining our monochromatic high and low key versions of the same design into one file. And I'm using uh, Photoshop CS6. So the first thing I want to do is um, make sure I have two versions of the same exact design and they are accurate. And I want to then open a new file. So I need to check the image size. The image size is pretty large and I want to save my original large scale at a high resolution so that when I do need to go back and make revisions, change the color for if anything needs to be corrected, I can do it at a higher res resolution version and not get pixelation and jagged edges, which happens when trying to work off a really small version of a design. So let's um, double this and then add a thousand pixels for a border here and a thousand pixels for a border there. So my new file is going to be 6000 by 4333. So I'm going to cancel that and go to new, open a new file, and I want to go 6,000, right, double, plus an extra thousand, and this is going to be at 43, 33, okay, and remember this is really large, and I will uh, reduce the file size later. So first thing we want to do is actually, you know, select our design, command copy, command V, select my second design, Oops, where'd it go? Here we go. Let's deselect that first, just in case. Okay, command copy, command V, and because it works better if you don't touch the other design first. I've been having some issues with it, um, you know, copying the first one uh, the second time. So now I'm going to click on the layer and move it. So I don't know. You know, there are quirks in, in software that can really drive us a little bit batty sometimes. It doesn't always work, but sometimes closing out of the program will reset it and you're good to go. So now I have my two designs lined up. The next thing I want to do is uh, add a text box. And notice that I'm at 30 points. That's pretty large. Uh, for, but this is a huge file size, so it, it the, the text should fit, and it's a, a nice kind of gray, neutral gray. So I'm going to add a text box here, and I'm going to type in, this is my low key version, whoops, low key, and then I'm going to just tab over to the beginning of the high key version here. We don't want the text to touch the design. Anything that encroaches upon an artwork can be visually distracting. I'm actually going to, um, no, I think I'm just going to apply that as is. And then I'm going to add another text box down here and put my name down here. Okay. And we're good to go. Okay, so I have my, my design is ready to go. Now I want to. Um, save it. So I'm going to uh, save this and um, I'm going to just save it in the large version and call this um, Coniglio Josephine. And notice I'm still in Photoshop, right? PSD is Photoshop. And week one, A4. Uh, high, low, so I know that I've got both in one version, and I'm going to save it to my I images and templates folder, and I'm going to maximize compatibility. Okay, so now I have this saved, and it's a large, remember, the image size is really large, right? So now what I can do is uh, reduce the file size to, I'm going to go to 1200, and say OK, and now I'm, it's now, see, now at 10% it's really tiny, right? So if I bump that up to 100%, oops, that's really big, right? It's bigger than, I mean, it's bigger than the window. So let's go to 80 just so you can see it. Now that's still pretty big because I'm going to compress it further when I save it for the web. Okay. Okay. So now I have an intermediate size version. I like to have a couple of versions just in case. So now I'm going to save for the web. If I tried to save the original file, it would have been too big, too high a resolution. Now um, I want to make sure I'm at JPEG and it's in preset high. These are the presets. The compression quality is high and optimized for the web. And I want to make sure that this toggle is checked so that I do not get distortion. And I'm going to reduce the file size to 800 and well that's a little small at six 
let me instead make that at 600 pixels it's going to make that a little bit bigger and you know close enough right but I want it to be large enough that you can see the details in the design not so small that um, you know it becomes difficult to see it so then I'm going to save it and here we go I want to save it in my uh, images and templates file and now I have uh, it saved as a JPEG it's the same title Coniglia, Josephine, week one, assignment four. And, you know, I don't really need high and low because they're both there in the design uh, or in one design uh, file format. So Coniglio, Josephine, week one, assignment four, JPEG, and it's ready to upload to the classroom. And um, something already exists in that, name, in that file location, but I don't need it, so I'm going to say OK. All right, so I got ran a test run, had the same version there. I could double check that, change the file title to version two. If this were my second version, I didn't want to lose the first one. But for demonstration purposes, I didn't really need to save anything except the one. So now I am ready to upload this to the classroom. All right, if you have any questions, um, please post them in uh, week one, Problems and Solutions.